Hello YouTube. Um, today I went out to the garden and uh, harvested a bunch of um, vegetables um, thanks to Cat's Cradle's gentle admonition to not give up um, the race and to finish to the very end. So um, I went out. I have another video I'm going to show you. Uh, everything that I harvested from the garden today, but right now I want to show you, um, I had some tomatoes that I picked last week that we didn't get around to eating, I'm ashamed to say, and they were nice heirloom tomatoes called Mr. Stripey, and um, they're a little too far gone to eat, so what I'm going to do is harvest the seeds for next year. So I was going to show you how I did that. Um, just get yourself a sharp knife and cut right straight down the middle of the tomato like this and take and squeeze the tomato over some kind of a container of some sort. You're going to squeeze out all the seeds and the little pulp that's attached to them um, into the container just like that. And um, you know this year's my first garden and I've learned so much from YouTube. I'm so grateful for everything that I have learned from everybody. I feel pretty well equipped to, um, to do this thing um, if anything disastrous should happen. I think what's happening now that's disastrous is the price of food. And I've hardly been to the grocery store um, this summer. I mean, I have been somewhat for milk and um, you know, stuff like that, that y you can't keep for long periods of time. But with my vegetable garden and the stuff that I have put away and canned, um, I've really done very well this year. And we haven't suffered any hardship. So I've been unemployed since November. I was laid off um, November 16th of last year. I was a um, clinical drug trial manager, project manager, um, but oh well. I'm really enjoying this project, managing this project, and um, so I've taken the opportunity to put it to good use and um, to learn all that I can about gardening, about canning, about food storage, about guns, about hunting, about chickens, I mean you, you name it, fruit trees, um, you name it, I've been doing it, and um, we've instituted probably about 50 or 60 percent of that into our daily lives now. Um, so I'm very grateful to you too for, for the, um, the videos that I've watched, other preppers, um, and how they've done it. And I may have adopted a thing or two here and there, but pretty much I'm following the standard course, so um, I feel really good about it. So get yourself a clean jar. After you've squeezed all your your tomatoes with the innards into a container, um, go ahead and pour those in, just like that, and add a little bit of water. Put the lid on. It's as easy as that. I'm going to let these sit for about five days. What's going to happen is it's going to form show you I've done another one here. It's going to, um, this one I did yesterday, it hasn't started forming a um, scum yet, but it will form like a, a mold or scum on the top of the water, on the surface of the water. And then you know that um, you have the activity going on that's going to eat away the gelatinous covering of those seeds. Then you can take and run this through a sieve under gentle running water. And run, I'll show you how to do it here in just a second. And you can wash these seeds and then you lay them out to dry. Now I use coffee filters because that's just the kind of girl I am. And I uh, label my tomatoes which I did not do with this one yesterday. I can't remember what kind of tomato that is. But anyways, 
Um, this one here that I did last week is called a green zebra, which is a heirloom tomato, and they're very small. This is what they look like, green, and they look like this when they're ripe. The most delicious little tomatoes, very acidy, I love that. And um, so I saved some of those seeds last week. Let me um, move this tripod over here a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. It's my compost bin there in, in my sink. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get my strainer. sure where I think it might be in the dishwasher I'm sorry hang on yep there it is okay I use this one it's a nice fine mesh uh, screen so then you take and you just pour that right in there like that some fresh water and then I turn the water on kind of gently and I just wash these seeds just like this uh, all that gel is gone from there and you can feel it they're nice and um, exposed now you just wash that over, uh, over a couple of minutes tap off most of the water and Pop those out onto a coffee filter or a paper towel or something along that line to dry. Spread them out and let them air dry for about a week. And then, you know, label them, put them in a little, um, a little uh, envelope or a little plastic snack bag and label them and you're good to go for next year. You have all the seed that you need. Um, it's a wonderful process and I and I hope you um, do that. Um, today I went down to the garden and I uh, managed to pick these three okras. Um, they're big boys. <laughs> uh, you're really not supposed to let them get that big but I left them on the uh, plant so that they would get big and the seeds would start to harden off inside the pod. What I'm going to do is harvest those next. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. It's very easy. Let me get another coffee filter out here. Okay. All you do with these, I'm tripping over this tripod here. Yes, let me see if you can see that. Yes. And you just slice down the pod. These are like wood. They're very hard now, which is the whole point. Okay. Slice down in there lengthwise and open it up. And there's lots and lots and lots of seeds. They're huge. Um, and just run your finger down these ribs and liberate all of those seeds down to the area where you're collecting them and they're going all over the floor. Ah. So anyhow, um, collect all your seeds, label your filter or your paper towel or whatever and lay it someplace where it's not going to get disturbed and let them dry. As they dry they will turn darker and when they're totally dry they'll be like almost a blackish brown and then you'll know they're ready. So you can store them away for next year. So I hope this helps. Um, this is just two of the types of seeds that I've been saving. Um, I've saved uh, peppers, um, some beets seeds, some tomatoes, of course. Um, oh gosh. Just a boatload and I've passed those on 
to friends and uh, family, and hopefully they'll put them to good use and grow a beautiful garden with them next year. So anyhow, this is Lori Girl, and I'm signing off for now. And in just a minute, I'm going to make another video showing you what I harvested in my garden this morning, thanks to Cat's Cradle. Thanks.